All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back to my channel, Christian Mechanic. I do have another ratchet for you uh, today I want to talk about. It's another Pittsburgh Pro. Um, it is another half-inch drive ratchet, and this is the extendable ratchet. And this is item number 62311. Uh, this is extendable ratchet, 72 tooth with a 5-degree arc swing. It says extends from 12 to 18 inches, six locking positions, and it says chrome vanadium steel, and then it also says that this ratchet here is made in China. So this one is not made in Taiwan. This ratchet here is going to be uh, made, in, made in China. So we're going to go ahead and just get a, a length on it right, right quick, and this one has a comfort grip on it too. So we right now measuring from here to here we are at 12 and a half inches. So maybe they're not maybe there's a bay, maybe there's an extra uh, half inch of a uh, comfort grip. Stick it down past here and then we're just going to extend it all the way. And we'll just double check. Uh, we are at now that's at 18 inches. Actually it's at 18 and a 16th. So it's actually a little bit That's uh, eh. About a sixteenth over, so we're just going to call it eighteen. But yeah, even when it's in the closed position, it's uh, it's it's, it's a half an inch longer. It even has it here on the sticker here it extends to uh, eighteen inches. Well, looking at the handle, um, you got your uh your rubberized grip here, but this here, I noticed on some of the other ones, this is a uh, softer rubber. This is kind of hard. It feels basically the same as this here. This orange plastic here and this is not it uh, doesn't really feel any different only thing that feels a little different is maybe the texture of it so maybe uh, the gripping would be better for that um, so we got the sticker on this thing I'm not sure if there's anything underneath of this so we're gonna, eh, in my luck it doesn't uh, like it doesn't want to peel off all right we're, I'm not gonna worry about that anyway so I'm just uh Looking at the head here, um, to extend this uh, head, this is a spring-loaded collar here, and you just pull this collar down, and as you can see, there's a detent. One, two, three, four, five different detents. Oh, really, there's one down here probably, too. There's probably six different detents, and this piece is hollowed out right here, so there, there's probably a ball that's down inside here, and if you want uh, to do anything with that, that's where you would have to do. But anyway, there is a, uh, a spring right here. And this is probably how this whole thing is held on with this little piece of, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not. But right, right here, there's a, a spring or clip. This is probably how the whole thing's held on. I'm sure you, you, you would pop this off and you could probably slide this piece up and off. But as you can, oh, and there's another one down here too. So there's another spring down here at the bottom i'm not going to pull any of that apart it looks like to me like there's just a bunch of uh ball detents down in there and they're probably when you pull this thing out it it releases the pressure we're just going to go ahead and uh concentrate on the head today um say the reverse switch it's the same as all the other uh switches on all their other pittsburgh uh, series ratchets um they're all basically look the same the 70 tooth ratchet, um, they're all, everything they have there is basically 72 tooth. Um, like I said, you got your quick release here. Um, we are going to pop it open inside, take a look at it. I'm just, like I said, I always like to add extra lube and, you know, just uh, see what the insides are. Now these here, this bolt was here was uh, pretty loose and look, these have the blue, they got the blue Loctite. The other ones had, an uh, Look to be like an orangish. I don't never remember seeing orange Loctites. But, uh, could be, could have been red. I didn't really, uh, wasn't really paying too close of attention at it. But anyway, it did have Loctite on it, but it was a different uh, color Loctite. And then here's your reverse lever. The reverse lever does not have, does not have any Loctite. And then we're just gonna pop this, pop this plate off. And uh, as you can see, there are there uh, there are there is oil on the plate, and 
that just fell apart on us. Here is this the uh, anvil, and this one does have a shim. Now this shim on this one is black. Um, the other one was silver. I don't know if that's a different material it's made out of, some kind of a uh, different like a spring steel. But you do see some oil, oil on the back of this ratchet. So this one. It's definitely got a little extra um, oil in it, and like I said, all the pieces on the inside of the ratchet are all the same as the other ratchet we just looked at. And there, there are four teeth per side of the pole. There's two poles, so that is also, and they are marked left and right. Like I said, we're just going to go ahead and add... I'm just going to add a little bit of extra lube on these uh, gears here. Now I know some people don't like to put uh, grease on their gears because they said if you get little little tiny pieces of dirt or anything in there in there like that, um, you could cause it to slip. But um, this ratchet wasn't too bad looking. And, um, it was kind of tight. The anvil was good. I'm going to say that you're really not going to get any kind of uh, contaminants in there unless you're dropping this in, you know, in dirt. I mean, it's kind of hard to get grease on your uh, your tools if you're uh, just taking your time and being uh, being careful what you're doing with them. You know, you know just uh, being respectful of your of your stuff. You know, not just throwing it down in the ground on the dirt you know when you're uh, when you're finished with it now I see this spring is in right and I'm looking over at this spring here they got this spring in backwards so they got one spring in the right way and they got the other one of these springs was in backwards so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip this spring around and that's why I like the uh, open up my ratchets and take a look inside them um, quality control eh. you know you just uh, I work in a factory so you can't can't catch everything not every uh, everybody's different whoever's doing like the quality control you know some people pay more attention than others at their uh, at their job making sure they're putting uh, pieces in uh, where they're supposed to be make sure they're all going in the right way so we got that in there. I'm just going to slide this up a little tiny bit. And there we go. We got that back in. I'm going to push these poles back down. And we're going to add the anvil back inside. I'm just going to Alright. Well this isn't working right because I don't have the uh, the bolts back in for the reverse lever so it's not putting the uh, proper pressure. And that's and that's just another uh, another piece to the puzzle. If you ain't got, if something's a little bit out of alignment inside here, the uh, the levers won't work right. So you got to make sure you have all your all your pieces are in there straight and the right way, and they're not being pinched, because then your uh, then your tools won't work properly. So you just gotta be careful when you're putting your things together, because you don't uh, if you want your tools to work properly, you gotta. Uh, Gotta take care of them. So there you go. See, it? that's what I was telling you. Put the uh, put that bolt back in there that, that aligned to this uh, reverse lever back up, which allows the uh, the poles inside to uh, work according. Because um, because that switch was a cocked a little bit because it didn't have the, the bolt in it, it um it didn't allow it to uh, ratchet properly. And that plate there, the screw here was not going in. So we're gonna try this again and we'll just put these back in and snug them a little bit because like I said they were uh they were pretty loose when I uh, took them out I didn't uh didn't really use hardly any force to get that out yeah, so I'll just wipe all that off we'll just uh, double check double check this reverse lever make sure I ain't got it too tight now this ratchet I am going to take to work I'm trying to uh, change out. Like I said, I got a lot of old Craftsman ratchets at home. I mean, at work that are in my box. And I kind of wanted to upgrade to something a little bit newer. Um, 
the quality of these uh, Harbor Freight ratchets it's not that I think it's pretty good they're pretty decent and their lifetime warranty uh, like I said Craftsman kind of did away with uh, Sears did away with Craftsman and now they're all their stuff's being made in uh, Taiwan or China so you're not getting you're taking your made in America your um, your tools that you paid a lot of money for you're taking them back and you're getting Chinese tools that aren't that I know a lot of these newer ratchets some of them have plastic parts inside them and I don't want a ratchet I don't want to use a ratchet with plastic parts in them so I'd rather not have some of the new craftsman stuff I know Harbor Freight uses all steel pieces and steel parts inside I can go to their store and I can get it exchanged out no questions asked and uh, they're not super expensive and they're going to be made in Taiwan or China just like the craftsman stuff is so it makes no sense for me to uh, go and spend seventy dollars on a uh, long handle ratchet at Lowe's when I can get uh, I paid fifteen dollars for this one with a five dollar off coupon for this it just doesn't make sense then this is going to work just as well maybe if not even better but all right everyone i just want to thank you and i just want to say have a great night and just uh, be blessed thank you very much